Welcome in. Today we're going to do a short video and talk a little bit about Social Security. Uh, so think of this as a 101 uh, lesson on Social Security. Uh, be sure to check our, our uh, other content with Social Security. Specifically, we uh, do have a video on potential reasons why it makes sense to wait on Social Security, at least until 67, full retirement age, and uh, potentially 70. Uh, let's dive in. Real quick, we're going to draw the timeline. So this is mapping out all of your different options uh, that you have when you take Social Security. Let's uh, get me out of the screen. All right, here we go. Um, first and foremost, 67 is really what we're going to draw first. Why is that? Because 67 is technically your full retirement age. At your full retirement age, you get 100% of your primary insured amount. Um, so essentially, this is the full benefit that you've earned with Social Security. So let's say that you've uh, maxed out Social Security over the years. So you've probably worked for, let's say, 35, 40 years. And um, for the last several years, you have made more than 140000 a year. Um, so again, with your payroll, if you're still working, once you make over 140000 a year-ish, um, it goes up every year a little bit for inflation, um, you no longer pay Social Security tax. Uh, you still pay your Medicare tax, but Social Security uh, graduates. So even if you make um, $10 million a year, it doesn't matter. You're, you're earning the same Social Security benefit because you stop paying the Social Security tax after $140,000 in income. So if you have maxed Social Security out um, at age 67, your full retirement age, uh, we're going to kind of use a round number. It's about 3000 a month, um, give or take 50 bucks and stuff. Uh, your, your benefit's going to be pretty close to there. Um, so 3000 a month, we're just going to use that as a round number. Now, let's talk about your other options. You do have the ability to take Social Security as early as 62. When you do that, uh, you are essentially taking six and two thirds percent less per year. So let's use a quick example six and two thirds percent less per year. If you were to take it at 64, that is three years early. So three times six and two thirds percent. This essentially means you are getting 80% of your primary insured amount. Uh, so you can take it early, but in this example, that means that you're going to take, let's just call it uh, 2400 a month instead of 3000 a month. Now, you also have the opportunity to delay it. Um, you can take Social Security. You can wait all the way until 70. Now, doing this, you get about 8% more per year uh, that you wait. So it's possible you could uh, potentially have a benefit that's getting pretty close. Again, I'm just going to use a round number. Um, to let's say 4,000 a month. Now, um, is Social Security taxable? Uh, well, Social Security is taxed at different rates depending on your income. So if you have an ultra low income, Social Security is actually tax free. Um, now, it, it can also be 50% taxable, but the barriers, I mean, you need to make, uh, I wanna say it's under about 25,000 a year. Um, and I haven't even looked that up in a, in a long time because most of the demographic that we engage in, in financial planning, um, those retiring from large oil and gas companies, uh, it, it's, not, it's not something that comes up. Um, and so you do have the opportunity to have either 0% of your Social Security taxed, 50%, or 85%. So even if you have an ultra high income, not all of your Social Security is taxed. At most, 85% is subject to federal income tax. Now, um, on the state tax front, I would encourage you to check your state income tax laws. So obviously, you have the uh, several states that are income tax free. Uh, here in Texas, no state income tax. So obviously, your Social Security income is not taxed at the state level. Um, but I bring this topic up, and we've written an article on this before. Uh, there are a handful of states, several, several other states, in addition to the zero state income tax states, that do not tax Social Security earnings. Um, some states also do not tax uh, pensions, or some states even make it as, as uh, inclusive to just say, we don't tax um, any retirement accounts. 
And so uh, certainly check on the state income tax uh, situation there. But um, here's the rundown. So these are your options. You can, you can take Social Security anytime in this window. Um, what's the break even? If you wait until age 67, you need to live until about age 80 in order to make it worth postponing uh, Social Security to 67. Now, uh, I'm going to hit on this uh, in, in detail in the video that talks about why you should potentially wait. But if you take Social Security before full retirement age, and by the way, if you're 65 today, your full retirement age might be 66 in eight months or something. Um, <clears throat> if you take it before full retirement age and you have uh, earned income, uh, you can be penalized and, and half of your Social Security can be taken away. Um, so it's important to remember that in this region, you really don't want to take Social Security if you're also going to be earning income. Um, now, how long do you have to live to make 70 worth it? And the answer is about 82 to 84. I mean, that's more of a simple uh, math equation. So we're not necessarily saying that you're taking Social Security and investing it uh, with a certain rate of return. It's, it's really just saying, asking the simplest question possible, how do I receive the most amount of money possible from Social Security in your lifetime? Um, and if you live past 82, uh, it, it, it certainly can make sense to wait until 70. Um, now, one other thing I would mention, if you are married, um, there is also somewhat of a built-in uh, insurance uh, policy when you, when you take it at 70. Um, because let's say one spouse, the lesser earning spouse, could take it at any point. But the higher earning spouse with the higher Social Security benefit, if you take it at 70, uh, that locks in the highest benefit for whichever spouse, uh, whichever one of you or your spouse ends up living longer. Um, so even if you had the higher benefit, but you pass away, your spouse would get that 4,000 a month benefit um, over the years. So that can be a nice benefit. So again, this gives you a quick overview of how Social Security works, uh, some things to understand, and uh, check out our video on potential reasons why it could make sense to delay.